Millions of your taxpayer dollars potentially wasted on the East Belt Bridge that's been under construction for years. Yes. 21 areas of significant concern, $300 million in cost overruns. One bridge that was so dangerously flawed they had to tear it down and start over. But here's what nobody is telling you about Houston's Ship Channel Bridge. The engineering disaster that almost happened wasn't just a mistake, it was a systematic failure that exposed how broken our mega infrastructure system really is. Look, we've all driven over bridges without thinking twice, but what happened in Houston between 2018 and 2020 should terrify every single person who's ever crossed a major bridge in America. However, the most shocking part isn't that the bridge was dangerous. It's how close we came to never finding out. Because if one company hadn't been involved in a catastrophic bridge collapse in Miami, Houston's Ship Channel Bridge would have opened to the public with fatal flaws that could have killed thousands. Um, and the cover-up that followed reveals something much darker about how America builds its infrastructure. The signature design that became a death trap. So how does a $1.45 billion bridge project turn into an engineering nightmare? And why did it take an independent audit to discover that the entire structure was fundamentally unsafe? The intention was ambitious, build two parallel cable-stayed bridges that would become Houston's signature landmark. Each bridge stretching 1,320 feet with iconic 514-foot pylons piercing the Texas sky. Eight lanes total, designed to handle the massive shipping traffic of America's busiest port. The obstacle? The original engineers chose style over safety, and physics doesn't care how pretty your bridge looks. This isn't just about construction delays or budget overruns. This bridge carries 180,000 vehicles every single day. If it had failed during rush hour, we'd be talking about one of the deadliest infrastructure disasters in American history. Everything you think you know about bridge safety inspections is about to get shattered. Because what happened in Houston proves that our entire system for approving mega projects is fundamentally broken. The original design looked incredible on paper. Instead of boring traditional concrete towers, FIG engineering created something called dynamic angles curved pylon legs that twisted and joined just below the deck level. Picture two massive concrete arms reaching up from the water, bending toward each other like they're embracing the roadway. It was architectural poetry that would have made Houston's bridge instantly recognizable worldwide. But those beautiful curves were hiding a deadly secret. When concrete bends and twists under load, it creates what engineers call stress concentrations, invisible pressure points where the material wants to crack. The more complex the shape, the more unpredictable these stress points become. FIG's design featured precast concrete substructures with complex stay cable cradles built directly into those twisted pylon legs. Every cable carrying the weight of the bridge had to thread through these curved sections, creating force flows that even supercomputers struggled to predict accurately. The lead structural engineer later admitted something chilling we were essentially guessing about how those forces would behave in the real world. The Miami connection that exposed everything. Here's where the story takes a terrifying turn that reads like a thriller novel. On March 15th, 2018, the Florida International University pedestrian bridge in Miami collapsed during construction, killing six people and injuring 10 others. The bridge was designed by Effig Engineering, the same company building Houston's Ship Channel Bridge. Suddenly, every Effig project in America was under a microscope. Harris County officials ordered an immediate independent audit of the Houston Bridge design. What the auditors found was so alarming that construction was halted within weeks. 21 areas of significant concern. That's engineering speak for this bridge could kill people. The problems weren't minor design flaws, they were fundamental miscalculations that threatened the entire structure's integrity. First, the wind load assumptions were completely inadequate. Houston sits on the Gulf Coast, where hurricanes regularly generate winds exceeding 150 miles per hour. But FIG's calculations assume much lower wind speeds, and they fail to account for how those twisted pylon shapes would interact with hurricane force winds. Wind doesn't just push against structures, it creates vortex shedding the same phenomenon that destroyed the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in 1940. At the wrong frequency, wind can make a bridge oscillate so violently that it tears itself apart. 
The curved pylon legs made this problem exponentially worse because they created unpredictable airflow patterns that could amplify dangerous vibrations. Second, the strength calculations for those beautiful curved sections were based on unproven assumptions. The kinked regions where the pylon legs bent had never been tested at this scale with these specific load combinations. Computer models suggested they would work, but computer models had been wrong before. Catastrophically wrong. Third, the foundation margins failed modern safety standards. The loads from those massive twisted pylons created force patterns that the original foundation design couldn't handle reliably. But here's the most terrifying part. These weren't obscure technical issues that only experts could spot. These were basic engineering principles that should have been caught during the initial design review. The $300 million demolition and desperate redesign. When Harris County fired FIG in 2020, they faced an impossible choice. Abandon the project entirely or tear down what they'd already built and start over. They chose to start over and the financial carnage was immediate. Substantial sections of the southbound approach had to be partially demolished. Pylons that had already been installed needed major reinforcement or complete removal. The complex stay cable cradles that had taken months to construct were ripped out and scrapped. $300 million of work destroyed in a matter of weeks. The county brought in COWI and SYSTRAIBT as the new engineers of record. Their first recommendation was brutal but necessary, eliminate everything that made the original design iconic. The new design abandoned the problematic stay cradles entirely, opting for direct cable anchorages and steel box elements within simplified pylons. The twisted, curved legs were replaced with straight, predictable concrete towers. The main span structure shifted from pure concrete to a composite concrete and steel superstructure, making the deck stiffer and more resistant to both wind loads and the dynamic forces from heavy truck traffic. It wasn't pretty, but it was safe. The lead engineer on the redesign team put it perfectly. We prioritized long-term safety and operational margin over architectural ambition. The bridge's job is to carry traffic safely for 100 years, not to win design awards. But the damage to Houston's timeline and budget was catastrophic. The southbound span, originally scheduled to open in 2021, was pushed back to 2025 at the earliest. The complete project, including demolition of the old bridge and opening of the northbound span, wouldn't finish until 2028. Seven years behind schedule, $600 million over budget. The hidden dangers of iconic infrastructure. What happened in Houston exposes a dangerous trend in American infrastructure. The prioritization of iconic designs over proven engineering principles. Cities across America are commissioning signature bridges, landmark buildings, and architectural marvels that push the boundaries of what's possible. The pressure to create something Instagram-worthy often overrides basic safety considerations. The engineering community calls this aggressive geometry. Designs that look spectacular, but create structural challenges that aren't fully understood. Houston's bridge controversy has sparked industry-wide changes. Major infrastructure projects now require mandatory independent design checks and staged construction analysis, especially for temporary loads, construction wind effects, and adjacent span traffic management. The Federal Highway Administration issued new guidelines specifically addressing complex geometric configurations in bridge design, essentially creating a regulatory framework to prevent another Houston situation. But here's what's really disturbing. Houston wasn't an isolated incident. Similar problems have been discovered in signature bridge projects across the country. The difference is that most cities don't have the political will or financial resources to tear down flawed construction and start over. They just cross their fingers and hope the computer models were right. The engineering consultant who led Houston's independent audit told me something that still gives me chills. For every Houston that gets caught and fixed, there are probably five projects out there with similar problems that nobody's looking for. The $1.45 billion lesson that changed everything. Today, Houston's Ship Channel Bridge represents both a cautionary tale and a success story. The final design emphasizes conservative engineering principles, rigorous peer verification, and simplification for long-term maintainability.
The two parallel cable-stayed bridges will safely carry traffic for generations, even if they don't make the cover of architecture magazines. The economic impact extends far beyond Houston. The techniques developed during the redesign process, particularly the composite concrete and steel approach and the advanced wind analysis methods, are being applied to bridge projects worldwide. The controversy also created a new standard for infrastructure transparency. Harris County published detailed reports about the design flaws, the decision-making process, and the financial impact, setting a precedent for how public agencies should handle engineering failures. But the most important lesson isn't technical, it's cultural. The Houston Bridge disaster proved that our infrastructure system has a dangerous blind spot when it comes to innovative designs. The pressure to build something spectacular can override the fundamental engineering principle that safety comes first, always. The bridge that finally opens in 2028 will be a monument to that lesson. It won't be the most beautiful bridge in America, but it will be one of the safest. And in a world where 180,000 people cross that bridge every day, safety matters more than style. The next time you see a city announcing plans for a signature bridge or iconic building, remember Houston. Ask the hard questions about independent safety reviews, proven design principles, and long-term maintenance costs. Because when it comes to infrastructure, boring is beautiful and predictable is priceless. The Houston Ship Channel Bridge will finally open as a testament to the idea that sometimes the best engineering solution is the one that works, not the one that wins awards. And that's a lesson worth $1.45 billion. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.